Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we'll be talking about how we can use CodeShare platform effectively. This video is for beginners who have started their competitive programming journey or they are planning to start their competitive programming journey. So today I will introduce you with the CodeShare platform, which is one of the most popular platform in coding world. This platform has a lot of features using which one can enhance their coding skills. But before that, for those who are interested in similar platform like lead code, I have already created a video on that. You can check out that on my YouTube channel. I have a detailed video on lead code platform and how one can use it effectively. So let's start with this video. Today I will take you through different features of CodeChef and will tell you how you can use them effectively. I will also talk about different contests which happen on this CodeChef platform. And at the end, I'll be sharing some useful resources using which you can learn DS and algorithms in a well structured form. So watch this video till the end. Here I'm on the CodeChef homepage. Here if you see there are a lot of things going around but we'll focus on this tab practice and learn. Okay. So for the beginners, one can start with this tab where you can see different options. I'll go through them one by one. So the first thing here you see is code compile and run. So this is basically a inbuilt editor where you can simply run your code. Okay. And here you have provided with different languages. You can write code in your preferred language and you can simply paste your code here or you can also upload the file, the, uh, the code file and then you can simply run this. So this is an inbuilt editor which one you can use to write code or they can also use their own editor and simply they can paste their code here. Next we have practice problems by difficulty level. So for those who have just started their coding journey can start with this. Here one should start with beginner and easy coding problems so that they will get to understand about the uh, question formats and also about the code shape platform okay so once you become comfortable solving problems on medium and hard difficulty level what you can do next is you can start solving contests but before contest let me tell you there is one more option that search problems by tax so let's say if you want to practice on some specific topics so you can simply select one of the tags uh, let's say if you want to practice some dynamic problems then you can simply select here and you will get all the dynamic programming problems here Right. So in this way, you can uh, target specific topics or specific difficulty level so that you can improve your problem solving skill. So next here in the drop down, if you see there are other options like learn CP, AIM, ICPC learning series and other options. For those who have just started their coding journey, I would not recommend this one for now. Uh, what you can do next is you can simply go for the contest so let me tell you that there are different types of contest which gets conducted on this platform so few of them are lunchtime contest or cook off contest so these are basically short contests which will be of duration two to three hours so this type of time based contest will help you to prepare yourself for coding interviews so here in the contest you can see all the details here and also if you scroll down you will see all other details you can simply participate in this kind of contest so that you can prepare yourself for uh, interviews and for time based contest that's about the short contest there are also long contest which used to run for 10 days or more okay so this kind of contest will help you to learn new data structures like uh, let's say if you come across some problems where uh, some data structures is required and you have not read about it so there is enough time you can go through it you can learn new uh, things and then you can apply it so this kind of contest is very helpful for learning new things so yeah you should also participate in long contests so yeah, that's about the contest. Next, we'll see the resources. So here is the link. So this is CodeChef Certified Data Structure and Algorithms Program where you can simply enroll and you can give some exam to get some certificate, but that is not mandatory. Uh, all you can do is you can simply go through the syllabus. This is well-structured syllabus, uh, which is basically required for any beginners to follow. So here in the learning resources, uh, you will have a lot of resources available here which is also topic wise. So if you see, we have big O notation, arrays, strings, stack and queues. And similar to this, we have a lot of other data structures and algorithms covered here. So I would highly recommend you to go through this and learn data structure and algorithm from here. So I would highly recommend you to go through this sequentially if you're a beginner, even if you're at advanced level, you can definitely go through these links. Uh, you will find it very useful. And this page is also very handy in case you are preparing for any interview or let's say if you're having interview in few weeks so and then you can definitely go through them so yeah that's about the coach platform i hope this video will be helpful for those who are getting started with coach chef and if you are new to this channel please check out the computer programming playlist where i have uploaded a lot of lead code problems and solutions which will help you to enhance your coding skills that's all about this video if you learn something from this video please hit the like button and if you are new to this channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press that bell icon so that you get notified for our upcoming new videos
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग